Bialga Khan's filly Elisa was stripped of her victory in the 1989 Epsom Oaks after a post-race test discovered traces of hydroxycamphor, known as 3HC, in her urine. The jockey club after a long inquiry decided the 3HC came from camphor, a prohibited substance, despite evidence from the Aga Khan scientists that it could be derived from the wood shavings on which horses are bedded. Although there was no suggestion that camphor had been administered deliberately, the Aga Khan was so angry he withdrew all of his 90 thoroughbreds from Britain. He also began the legal proceedings which reached the High Court today. Representing the Aga Khan, Sidney Kentridge QC told the master of the roles, Sir Thomas Bingham, sitting with Lord Justices Farquharson and Hoffman, that although camphor didn't enhance Elisa's ability, and nor was there any question of deliberate doping, the disqualification diminished the breeding value of the filly and was hurtful to the reputation of her owner, the Aga Khan. This case could set a precedent. The jockey club, which controls racing in Britain, is a private club. But if the Aga Khan's lawyers can show that it was acting in the public domain when dealing with the Elisa case, its decision could be subject to judicial review. And that would be the first time the judiciary has intervened in the decision of one of sport's governing bodies.